Hi, it's Jeannie. Welcome to my channel. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'd appreciate it if you would hit thumbs up and subscribe. And today's video is a walkthrough of a magazine. And again, like many of my videos, it isn't about the content, it's about my voice and a lot of crinkles. So you've been warned. Crinkles, crinkly sounds, are one of my favorite triggers. Now, this magazine that we're going to walk through accidentally got left where a sprinkler soaked it. Because I do things like that a lot. And as you know, when paper gets swollen and then dries out, it gets very crinkly. And I was going to throw it out, and then I thought, no, nah, this is kind of cool. And I saw someone do that once, and I can't remember the video, but I saw it and I just, oh, I thought that was awesome. And then, boom, it happened to me. So I look at that as a sign that I was meant to do a flip through of a water soaked and sun dried magazine. Here is just a little preview. is Martha Stewart's Living, the May edition. And I love the colors on the front of this magazine. Now, the funny thing about this subscription is I get it in the mail every month but I didn't subscribe to it. It's made out to some nail shop in Texas. So, I will walk you through this magazine and show you some of my favorite pages, articles, recipes, design, and style favorites. Um, I've always liked Martha Stewart. Uh, gosh, back in from the 80s. I remember I bought one of her first cookbooks and I made the crab cakes from that cookbook. And now it was a process. But those were probably one of the best crab cakes I've ever had. And there was an aioli sauce that came, you know, with the recipe. And I'm getting hungry for those now. I might do that again. It was delicious. Best crab cakes ever. No, I take that back. Best crab cakes ever were in Seattle at the Capitol Grill. Those were my best crab cakes ever. And I've had those all over. Those are something, if they're offered as a special or on the appetizer menu, I like to order them and indulge in the extra carbs. But, um, 
So that was my first, you know, Martha Stewart recipe back in the mid to late 80s. So let's go ahead and walk through this. And I hope my voice and the crinkles blend well to help you relax and zone out and tune out and forget the day's problems if there are any. And you can just drift off to a relaxation state or to sleep if that's your goal. So This is the May issue of Martha Stewart Living Magazine. It says, Rise and Shine. Inspiring people, places, and spaces. out with a calendar of gentle reminders, helpful tips, and important dates. Plant tomato, potatoes, and edamame. That's really important. Take dogs on early morning walk around the farm. Okay. Trim boxwood shrubs. More taking dogs on a walk. This is a beautiful picture. All these greens, artichokes, lettuce, asparagus, leeks. Un uh, let's see, green onion. No green onions. Looks like lettuce or some sort of um, spinach. Okay, and then she's got some of her favorite books. I'm a big reader and I really appreciate book reviews or book recommendations, but I've found sometimes that in magazines they aren't my um, cup of tea, and so I prefer book recommendations from friends who know me. shows her library and all her books. And this reminds me of when I grew up, my mom and dad had bookshelves that lined our hallways and I don't think they threw books away. And I remember a few donations, taking bags to various libraries and whatnot, but we had a house full of books. And I thought everybody had books like that. And I remember going to a girlfriend's house in, I don't know, maybe second or third grade. And I didn't see any books in her house. And I asked her, where, are, where do you keep all your books? And she said, what books? And I was really stunned. I just thought everybody had lots of books. So that's not necessarily so.
I like her books on garden design. Those are great. Okay, now here's an ad for, it's called Shape Beauty Lab Box. And it looks like it's got over $500 worth of products for $45.99. And all kinds of nice looking things. Hmm, I might have to try that. I'm a sucker for things like that. But then if I'm not, you know, really using the things, I will cancel. So, okay. I saw this and I really liked this. These are drinks. And this one is a strawberry ginger mash. And that looks delicious. It's made with fresh strawberries, fresh ginger, fresh lemon juice, vodka, and ice. And you top it with chilled ginger beer. I am going to try that. And this one is or orange mint margarita and this one is celery lime gimlet mmm those both sound good but I'm gonna try this one and Home style beauty and health. So look how nice and neat this kitchen is. So designs like this that use really bold colors like dark green and pink or peach, whatever that is, to me it sets a dated look because that isn't enduring. And maybe it's because I'm afraid to step out and be bold and dramatic. But the truth is, you know you're going to have to change it. That's so strong, I think, and this is just my opinion, I think you'd get tired of that look. Kind of like the avocado green of the late 60s, early 70s, or the harvest gold. It, it just dates a look. But if you're bold and you want to do something trendy and change it up in a few years or sooner, then what the heck? I say go. I stick with neutrals just because I can change my accessories to change up a look. That's a great garden. Twizzlers are not high quality licorice, we know that. 
but they're a great little snack. Stationery is something else that I really like and I've got quite a lot of um, when I see a package of cards, greeting cards, or thank you cards, or even blank cards. I buy them for whatever reason and so I've got quite a lot and I should do more mailing of them rather than holding on to them. Where can I find attractive screen doors for my home? That is actually something we are looking for. We have big sliding glass doors like this and these doors open that way and these doors open that way and the screen doors that are on them now are just, I'm not happy with them, so we're looking for new screen doors. So I will be showing this to my husband. Okay. All right. I'm drooling. Lemon curd little tarts made of phyllo dough or phyllo dough, however you pronounce that. I could eat everything you see right here. So the recipe is takes 15 minutes. I'm going to make that for a special occasion because we don't eat a lot of carbs, and this is nothing but carbs. <laughs> so, here it is. Half a cup of sugar, quarter teaspoon kosher salt, large egg, plus three large yolks, one and a half teaspoons of finely grated lemon zest, plus a third of a cup fresh juice from two lemons, and three to four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Oh my gosh. That's a keeper. Here's another great looking recipe. Salmon, slow baked citrus salmon with carrots. crispy chicken tacos. Mm. And let's see, they don't give the carb count down here. Nope. But that's okay. It's for those nights when you just don't care and you want to eat whatever you want to eat. favorite flower and I fell in love with them when I was in Holland and that is the tulip growing capital of the world of course but they're my favorite I don't know if you have Trader Joe's by you but you can get a really lovely bouquet of um, tulips for like nine dollars nine or ten dollars Pasta 
with edamame and shrimp. Mm. Okay. Lamb chops. That's another one of my favorites. When I'm at Costco, I always buy a rack of lamb and I slice them up, season them, and grill them either outside or in my oven. And we use a little mint jelly. I don't think I would add rhubarb to them. I don't like rhubarb, but I love lamb chops. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. like that do flower arrangement like that I don't know I suppose I could that is really pretty oh my goodness ranunculus I tried growing these once and I didn't have much luck with that Cocoa Swirl Coffee Cake with Hazelnut Crumb. Oh my God, that looks so good. Strawberry Rhubarb. I don't like rhubarb, do you? I think it just is so bitter. Oh my God. Okay. Bacon, Egg and Cheese. Baked French Toast. This would be good if you have people staying over at your house. You want to do a make ahead? Here, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Yeah, oh gosh, doesn't that look good? And this, easy cheese and jam danish. Get in my belly. Savory drop biscuits. I love making breads. We've given up breads this past year for the most part because they're high in carbs. And you hear me talk a lot about carbs and I love bread. And I make artisan French bread but I haven't been and I really miss it. So, oh, that looks so good. And this is strawberry and toasted sesame scones. Oh, I love scones. Very cabin-like. See, I like these colors. I like this neutral palette. I'm just very classic and I guess not very brave. So this is a guest house. This is a desk made with some kind of planks and like saw horses and that is not very practical. I think all the cords of what you would really need would be hanging down. They have one lamp here, but in reality, I would have tons of cords. What I think of spiders. 
spiders that get in. <laughs> I don't like spiders. And this is the recipe index. So those breakfast sausage and gruyere drop biscuits, oh my god, they've got biscuits with sausage in them, in them and cheese, gruyere cheese. Mm -mm -mm. I know I have hands like chicken feet. When I look at my hands, I see chicken feet. Very <laughs> sinewy and ligamenty. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so here's Martha in 1975 with her daughter, Alexis. And that is it. Look at this. See how crinkly that is. I'm going to cut out a couple of the recipes and put it in my binder that I keep all my recipes in. I've got recipes from 30 years ago. I should show that to you guys sometime. And um, try a couple of these recipes out. Yes, even the bread. So. And then this magazine will be destined garbage recycling. Well, I hope this was relaxing for you and I appreciate your viewership. I truly do. It means a lot to me. And I appreciate your feedback and I think I get back to every single person who drops me a note because I really appreciate it and I figure if you take the time to write to me I can take the time to write back to you so again thumbs up subscribe help me grow my channel and I wish you a very pleasant evening or night or day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.